see if I can hit him. Don't tell me I can use the, the thing on the gnome. Can't use it on the gnome. Uh, I am going to... Fred, sleep on the bed. Hey, friend. Better give him a loose brain and a kale ASAP so we can protect him. Oops. What you paint in there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lovato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... <laughs> wow! See? Sometimes you just have to... You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Bullfights, huh? Like a bunch of bullshit. Try my patience, Rasputin. What is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color. I'm scared of what's in this head. Is this a boss fight? of house of cards you're building there and still not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison who is she i only know that she is beautiful perfect and sad all day she cries rose petal tears and i can do nothing to help her because my creation lacks something and it will not stand against the bull what bull <sighs> El Odio. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any card you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh oh, I guess we're going in here. Oh, 
God, are you all right? Poor little guy. Hmm, little nick on the frame. Uh, Maybe I can cover that up with a price tag or something. <laughs> Enjoy your new art. Well, see ya. Get Edgar's cards. Get four queens for Edgar. Right, let's see. Well, So kill you fast so you can kill me. Uh. Oh, can I use my shield? Uh. Oh, that's melee! What can I do with a rose? Uh. Do I need invisibility to get into there? Honestly, but I'm glad it happened. Question mark. I can't get in there because there's a door on it. Can't get in there because there's a gate. Apparently. Go this way. No, 
Oh, I had to go in paintings inside of paintings inside of paintings. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. So we'll go back and try to get that first one. Iowa Tiger? Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty night. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snack size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then small fry. I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then... Alright, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up. But only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. Well... Oh. So tiny, I cannot even see you anymore. You are so tiny, I cannot even see you anymore. Okay, you do melee. Friends, get up! You are so tiny, I can <laughs> Sleep tight, kitty. Can't believe he did it. He did the stupid sound. There's one card for you. I need the purse tag here. Hey look, it's the purse tag, the one I need.
Back in we go. One of four. I already beat the tiger, so we don't have to go there anymore. Another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys a chain? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... Why don't you guys just make a run for it? You couldn't understand. El Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. And today is the only day that it's going to be this cheap. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. Why don't we just put it up now? Hey, can you fight bulls? I have a bull problem. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you are talking about El Odio, well, there is of course only one man who could handle that much bull. Who can? Who can do it? Who can fight El Odio? I speak of no other than Dingo Inflagrante, the infamous matador playboy. Alas, they would never ask him to help. Not in a million years. Why won't they ask Dingo to help? Is he expensive? No, because what happened between him and Edgar? Quite a scandal. What? What happened between Tell me, Dingo and Edgar? Tragedy, betrayal, art, love, pain, nothing you want to know about. Come on, tell me. What's the big scandal? Listen, I deal in truth and beauty, not dirt. But maybe if you had bought some art, then I'd have to come up with some small talk while we're making change and, you know. Gotta go. Be good. Fine. I'll buy a rose. <laughs> Pearls before swine. <laughs> what? Okay, I bought some art. Now give me the dirt on Dingo. <laughs> Okay, here's how I heard it. Years ago, when Edgar was a world-renowned painter, he was commissioned by Dingo to immortalize him in black velvet. But while he was sitting for the portrait, Dingo met Edgar's beautiful wife, who was none other than the top flamenco dancer, Dan Peter Passionado. He seduced the dancer, and the two ran off together, leaving Edgar with the unfinished painting and a broken heart. Since then, Edgar thinks of nothing but the treacherous pair. And since then, our streets have been ruled by El Odio. Whoa, that's a great story. You should do a painting about it. Yes, that's what we need around here. Some paintings of dingo and bulls. Yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. I think that dingo sounds like a jerk. Ah, uh, he gets an unfair rap because of his looks. As a collie, I know how hard it is to be resented for your beauty. It's like being forced to wear a golden robe with a diamond kick me sign on the back. Must be tough. Yeah, I work it out through my painting. I will go. We'll leave you alone. Go. Oh, thank God. I felt like I was being looted. Everyone's a critic. Give me the card. You're not the tiger. You look like a dragon to me. Introducing. Fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings and Billings, Dragon! Ooh. 
All right, Tubbs, come on. Yeah. What's that smell? That smells like fear, boy. Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear. Are you scared of me, or am I scared of you? Talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went bad. That's sulfur. <laughs> it's part of the dragon costume, kid. Is this some kind of trick? Is this some kind of trick? At least I know how easy it is to beat these guys now. Just run away for a second and hit him again. Soon they'll be dragging your ass out of here. <laughs> hey, are you awake? Did you hear that? Man, I can still smell that guy. Well, when it decides to let me off, I guess. Well, at least he doesn't take me all the way back, I guess. Well, almost had it. I have to go up. Huh? Painting. I have a feeling the roses are important, which is why they're so cheap. So do I need a guitar? This one has, uh, what is it? <laughs> I appreciate that sound. That sounded good. Very fun and very neat. Thank you, Tim.
ways I made that. All that work for nothing. Are you shitting me? Side power, advanced invisibility. Invisibility lasts twice as long. I appreciate that. All right, painter, what do you have now? Fifty five and seventy five. Okay, what I was going for here was a creeping vine that grows up walls, but it just ended up looking like a truck driver's hairy back. But without the charisma, this stuff reeks. Black Velvet hasn't been abused like this since the last time Mom got drunk. Law, give it up. None of them are any good. This one is so bad, somebody should take a rolled up newspaper and smack it. This stuff reeks. I like this one. He says what we're all thinking. This really lasts twice as long, but it also takes twice as long to charge. Hip. What else is down this alleyway besides pigments? I only have 30 money? Jeez, I'm gonna have to go farm some more money now. Yeah, it's like, are you telling me I need to farm money now? The bird! No! Let go of me.
There we go, one more hit. I'm sorry, Pummel, I cannot read that language. I'm gonna see if I can do the rest of this without buying those two framings. Is this a rematch or is this put me back? Oh, it puts me back where it was. Excellent. Edgar Tegley sent me. You know, the famous painter. How about a discount? Famous painter? Edgar? <laughs> yeah, right. You don't give discounts, or pfft, you don't think he's famous. Look, I'm sorry, but eating lunch every day in the art teacher's room does not make you a famous painter. Anyway, you only did that to hide out from the school wrestling team. Hey, there's no shame in hiding from wrestlers. They're trouble, especially the wild animal type. Oh, what do you mean, wild animals? Like dogs, huh? Oh, you got a problem with me now? No. No. I just meant wrestlers can be tough. I didn't mean you. Oh, you don't think I'm tough now? Why? Because I'm a Dalmatian? Hey, we can't all be St. Bernards and Bulldogs, you know. Has Edgar always had a problem with wrestlers? No way. In fact, he used to be the captain of his high school wrestling team. He took them all the way to the state semifinals one year, and then he, he choked. Cost the team the entire match. Why did he choke? Did they get him in one of those pile driver things? No. Edgar's girlfriend, Lana Panzoni, dumped him after the first period for Dean Legrand, the head of her cheerleading squad. Techley was worthless after that. The other team just tossed him around the rest of the day like a half sack of pork rinds. Oh, man. His squad hated him after that. The whole school did. How sad. Especially since it all happened to him again with Dingo and Lampita. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, they exist. Not made up at all, those two. Sheesh. Hey, I got some original Picassos over here if you're interested, by the way. See ya. Yes, run. Run from the horror. Well, that's enough. Just barely enough. Well, maybe you can write it off on your taxes as a loss. Yep. I hope this is the way forward. I'm gonna take this card first. Next up, Junior King Kong Cobra! You know, I thought he would roll down that. Freak. 
What? What? You suck, Tegley. You can't beat me. Coach says I can't be beat. Coach says I got mental toughness. You can't break my concentration, wimp. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look, I am not Edgar Tegley. My name's Raz. I'm a psychonaut. You're an idiot, Smedley. Coach says your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you states. Seriously. I don't want to have to hurt you. Well, since you'd have to break my concentration to even touch me, and since you can't break my concentration, I guess you won't be too disappointed then. How is he to break your concentration? Where You can't hurt me at all! Because the coach taught me how to concentrate on not feeling the pain. Not like you, Smegly. You feel everything. Like when your girlfriend, Lana, dumped you for that cheerleader guy. You felt that so bad, you blew the... Clairvoyance and... Uh, Troy Martin? State semifinals. You let all us wrestlers down. That's why we hate you. Give it up, Smegley. <laughs> Well, let's see what happens if we go up. Might as well collect these while I'm in here. Can you please help me after I collect this one pigment? Ah, you must be the towel boy. You want an autograph? I don't just hand those out. And okay. that's a good lesson for you. Okay. Anticipate disappointment. Take me. I'm the greatest bullfighter who's ever lived. Yet my upcoming match against the town bull has received virtually no marketing support. A towering advertisement was supposed to have been painted just outside my window. But as you can see, the job hasn't even been started. I think that bull is trampling anyone who tries to paint on the wall. Maybe you could stop it. Hmm. So instead of challenging the bull before a stadium packed with screaming women, you want me to fight it on the street in front of one dog and one child wearing a crude towel boy disguise. That's a terrible idea. Here's a better one. You go get that billboard painted and I'll reward you handsomely, which is how I do everything. Okay, butt chin. I'll give you one of my secret weapons. Use it if anyone gets stubborn. Oh, we have all the powers now. Uh, you can cloud the minds of others using the power of confusion, but if you use it too much, you'll need to pick up some more confusion grenades to energize the confusing aspect of your mind.
I just wanted to see what was in there, if I could have done something with that. Anyway. Yeah, we've seen that already. One more time, one more time. This done. Now we just beat up this stupid ass bull. Oh, I need to talk to him in order to get them? I hope these things are worth it, Edgar. Perfect. One step closer to her. Well, at least I'm turning off four of them in at once. Here you go, Edgar. Ah, that is exactly the card I need. Kind of a precarious little tower. It looks like you can walk right up there now, Edgar. Edgar? Edgar? Did he already walk up there? Hello 
most fierce magical creature. He can only be harmed by the traditional bullfighting weapons. Traditional bullfighting weapons. So, levitation on something here. Yes, indeed. Elodio is a fierce, magical creature. He can only be harmed by the traditional bullfighting weapons. He can only be harmed by the traditional bullfighting weapons. Where am I? Thank you for preparing the bull, my humble picador. I shall now finish this beast off easily. Edgar, listen. There is no Elodio, no Lampita, no Dingo. What? You can't let the Junior Varsity Pep Squad ruin your life. Um, what's up with the Junior? Yeah, we were full on varsity. <laughs> Give me a G! G! Give me an O! Oh. Give me a B! They B. stole Give my a happiness! Give me an L. My life! Give me an the L. state semi-finals! Everything! I stuck four of those barbed poles in his back. They're called banderillas. I gotta get those out of there and protect Edgar. If something happens to him while I'm in his mind, I'll get the boot. <laughs> I am the mighty El Odio. I have all the power of the bull. Hmm. And all the weaknesses are right. Look out! Here comes El Odio! Can't get a good grip. Ah! Ow! El Odio's Can't hit! Get a good grip. Good sir. Look out! Here comes El Odio! Ow! Right in El Odio's butt! Look out! Ow! El Odio is dying. <laughs> It's all right. We told him to it's stop. Okay. We'll win the game some other day. <laughs> uh, please. Edgar, look at them. They're too pathetic to hurt you anymore. Can't you just let it go? <laughs> so embarrassing. I can't believe I was hung up for so long over these losers.
to my Patronas, you may also hand him my farewell, for I am checking myself out of here. You have unchained my mind, young friend. So before I go, I'd like to show my gratitude by painting you a real work of art. No ball? <laughs> you make light of my mental problems, and still, I have no rage. Amazing! Amazing! 